What is up guys? John L here. Hope you're all having a wonderful day. We have a Crash of the Titans. This one is against Electra. She's at the standard 270. And we will be taking her on with the one and only Charles Xavier. So this is probably one of the more difficult Crash of the Titans depending on what your Charles Xavier looks like. So let's take a look at his powers first and kind of break down what he can do. So Charles Xavier is actually more or less a support character. He has his um, really good master plan ability where if you make a match 5 he does damage. But beyond that he's not really kind of designed to be a solo fighter. He works really good with teams. You'll see that with his other powers. So let's get into him. He has, <clears throat> excuse me, really low HP to start with. So that's one thing that kind of factors in. You never want him to be on the front line. And um, his damage is standard. He's a uh, blue, purple, yellow. So in that order, uh, mine's at level 277. You can see he still has less than 10k health, which is pretty low. So, if you have a uh, low health Professor X, you're probably going to want to... Well, actually, you, you probably don't... You want to boost in damage. There's not really anything that you want to boost in um, AP because his active powers don't really contribute a whole lot except for Blind Spot. So, let's take a look at the powers. Uh, Master Plan, it's a passive at zero. This is the famous one. So, in rigorous training sessions, Professor X teaches his allies to recognize tactical openings whenever Professor X matches. Professor X's team matches a 5 or greater. Makes a match 5 or How do you make greater than a match 5? Okay, well, I guess, right? Um, okay, so whenever uh, Professor X's team makes a match 5 or greater, it generates 2 AP in his team's strongest color and deals an additional 2,921 damage. At 5 covers, it's 4 AP, 4,536 damage at this level. So, you might be thinking that the path to victory goes through Master Plan, and I would argue that it really doesn't because you might get some 5s, you might not get some 5s. I would say that either way, with uh, Electra, it's probably going to take like 3 of these things to get 3 5s, maybe. I mean, if you get a good run, heck, you can probably even chain it or something like that, but um, I wouldn't be banking on this really. So, if you have a bunch of covers in Master Plan, it's going to help you. However, if you don't, it's not exactly like the end of the world. Uh, the next power is Blind Spot, and this is the big one. So, I kid you not, uh, my ex girlfriend, she actually did a Crash of the Titans with a Professor X. One cover, that cover was Blind Spot. Uh, I believe it was against Carnage, because. Carnage used to be the uh, character that they matched up against Professor X. It was like a 30 minute fight, she ended up winning it. So anyways, Blind Spot is big in this fight. It's uh, purple, it's 7. Entering his enemy's minds, Professor X blocks any sensory input and might reveal his pre that might reveal his presence. Professor X creates a purple invisibility tile that targets him. If one does not exist, working unseen, if Charles makes a match while this tile is present, he strengthens two friendly special tiles by 119. So, unfortunately, that second half is not going to come into play at all, because his yellow isn't going to be a factor, we'll talk about that in a second. But the big part is, Blind Spot is going to make Professor X invisible, and um, it's going to put this tile on the board, Basically what we're going to do is we're just going to be gathering as much purple as we can turn by turn and making sure that we have enough to keep firing off blind spots. So that's at three covers, at five covers, strengthens four friendly special tiles by more. Again, this isn't really going to factor in because unfortunately we can't put out any special tiles with uh, Charles Xavier. So his last power, again, is a passive. It's, well, it would be yellow if it was active, but I guess it doesn't matter. 
Um, Charles Xavier psychically communicates with his allies, coordinates their greatest strengths whenever an ally of Professor X fires a power. It also converts a random basic tile to a strength 77, protect tile 1 to a strength. Well, okay, this is... Okay, let's... At uh, 3, it's just a 77 protect tile. At 5, you also add a 56 attack tile and 84 strike tile. Again, doesn't matter. None of this stuff is going to happen anyways. You don't have any allies. No one's going to be firing off any active powers. So you could just really pretend that Professor X has uh, only two powers. That would be blue and purple. Blue being a passive. So purple's the active, the only one we really get to play around with. So if you have a Professor X in yellow, I'm sorry, this probably isn't going to work out too well for you. Um, there's about zero chance that you're going to be able to beat Electro one-on-one -on -one without having, like, purple or blue. I would even say if you have just blue, you're in for uh, probably really tough run at this. Especially if you don't have five blues because then you're still probably not doing a whole lot of damage with master plan. Best plan is just to have some kind of purple, even if you have one cover, you're in pretty good shape. So, anyways, let's get into the fight. So I'm not gonna boost him. Um, again, uh, if you wanted to boost, you're probably gonna try to boost in like his strong colors, which would be blue, purple, and yellow. And if you're gonna boost in any AP, you'd want to do it in purple just so you can get off to a flying start with blind spot. So before we get going, let's take a look at Electra as we usually do. Alright. Okay, so we talked about the three star Electra and when they released her, four star Electra is very similar. She has three powers. She's a purple, black, red. She has double, double cross, which is seven. So Electra is defected to the enemy team, uh, working for them while feeding her true allies powerful information. Electra transforms two random enemy strike, attack, or protect tiles into friendly strike tiles, improving their strengths by 243. But she also converts three random purple basic tiles into enemy strike tiles of strength 18. So double, double cross can be bad, but it can be good. I guess this would be a way to get some kind of friendly strike tiles on the board for Xavier. So if she casts this and then you cast Blind Spot, you can keep buffing these weak strength 18 tiles, but the only thing you want to do is make sure that she doesn't get double double cross again so she can reclaim those tiles which will be strengthened by Xavier. So I guess that can kind of factor in, so maybe having a couple blind spots would help out. Still yellow is, um, you know, not relevant to this fight. So black, she has shadow step. This one sucks, you want to keep her away from black. It's 10 AP, Electra senses an attack coming, prepares to dodge into the shadows. She converts five random basic black tiles into trap tiles. If Electra would take damage, the damage is negated, and a trap tile is destroyed, generating AP and dealing 920 damage. So I'm not quite sure if when one of these trap tiles is sprung, whether that damage will affect even a hidden or invisible Charles Xavier. Um, I don't, mm, I honestly, I just don't know. I don't think so, but I don't know. Um, there's some weird rules about characters and invisibility. So, either way, you want to avoid her getting black because if she puts Shadow Step, it's just gonna, like, extend the fight and it'll just make it really unpleasant. So, try to keep her away from that. Her last one is the, uh, famous Valley of Death, which is 8 red AP. Death is a dance and only Electra knows the next step. She converts a random red, purple, or black tile into a trap tile. If one exists, steal one purple, black. Let's see, if one exists, steal one purple, black, and red AP and deal 835 damage at the beginning of every turn. So, again, I don't know if this hits invisible. I feel like it doesn't, because then I would be losing these fights really fast. But, um... Her red looks like it's weak. I want to say that maybe she's like 5 and 5 and purple and black. Um, chances are she's going to get something out. I think she usually gets Valley of Death out anyways. I would say just try to keep her away from Shadow Step. 
and um, try to minimize the double double cross but I think the most important thing is just getting that purple going so anyways let's get going on this fight seeing as there isn't much on the board let's keep her away from red while we can and this would have been an awesome Yep. If we could get a 5, that would be great, but I don't know if that's the case. So there's like this garbage green 4 right here. I'm gonna leave that. Uh, whenever you can like leave 4s that the computer will go for, but like don't actually benefit from. I'd say go ahead and do that, so that way she'll pick up a whole bunch of AP that she doesn't really need anyway, so it's not a big deal. Um, we're not really having the best of luck with getting our purple. And of course she gets her purple. Um, so we're just going to be playing keep away for a bit. Oh, come on, I didn't want that. I guess that doesn't really matter. I feel like a lot of these fights just lean heavy for the computer. Like, they get all the colors that they need and we're kind of screwed. I'm not getting what we need. I mean, I really don't need red. I really need purple. Alright, so we're just gonna have to play keep away. So if the fight doesn't really go great, you might consider backing out. It's a pitcher is a duel right here. All right, I am just really trying to be careful not to like really spring anything. See, oh, come on, like. Computer always hooks itself up. Here we go, shadow step. Yeah, okay, this is just this is just a crappy situation, so I'm gonna retreat. what happens. Alright, we'll take another crack at this. If we get a good board where we can get Electra going. Alright, I'm just not gonna F around with this anymore. We don't want a power boost. We just want AP. And actually, I'm going to use the Rainbow AP, so we can just do this really quick. Of course. Alright, she'll go for the green, and we'll figure it out. Oh my god. You know... Some freaking home cooking here.
So if anybody has a better strategy for this fight, let me know. But this is kind of like what I've been doing. Alright, let's just match away this because I know they're going to put my whatever tile there. Computer always puts your... Uh, invisibility, countdown, whatever tile, like in the worst position, so. Alright, let's get rid of this four. See, so, I mean, look at all this stuff. I want to say the computer hooks itself up, like, so much. Like, it put the four, like, right in the path of the invisibility tile. Super convenient. Super convenient. So again, we want to just... Well, she's going to get Shadow Step, but there's not a whole lot we can do about that. Let's let her get double double cross so she can throw that out and then we can start buffing some strike tiles and just get this fight over with. So we have a problem because she has Valley of Death out. I have no idea where it is. And she's going to keep on getting black AP. Until I can figure it out. Good amount of God. Let's fucking fight. And here we go. Double double crawl or shadow step. I could just figure out where this whatever tile is Valley of Death yeah she's just never gonna stop doing this So I think we just needed a crazy chain. Alright, this should do it, I think. Oh god. So 
so there it is. It's not pretty, but I think uh, that's how you need to use Professor X to beat Electra. So, yeah, honestly, that was not a situation. Um, sometimes it can go better. I mean, you literally can just walk into the fight, sometimes get like a few master plans and just be done with it. Other times, it's going to end up being like that where you just, I don't know. The computer just uh, hooks itself up with the board and it's just nothing but Shadow Step and Valley of Death and it looks like Double Double Cross really does end up being important if you can, you know, just buff a lot of those tiles to the point where like one hit will kill her, but I think it's one of the more challenging um, Crash of the Titans, so hopefully you guys have some luck. Let's see if we get something of value for all of our hard work. Nope. Well, at least we got a uh, main event Hulk. So, anyways, uh, hopefully you found that informative and entertaining. And if you did, please like and subscribe. Good luck to you guys beating Electra. Good luck pulling that five star. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. Take care.